Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Microsoft is continuously putting their efforts on Microsoft Fabric and that's why they have brought a new way to estimate the fabric capacities. That means how much capacity do you need for your own organization? If you would like to use Microsoft Fabric and you would like to get its experience, you would like to perform end-to-end -end data analytics using software as a service platform, then you have to move to Microsoft Fabric. And this is not the topic for this conversation. Today, I'm going to let you know a smart way that how you can calculate the capacities for your own organization. That means how you're going to estimate that how much capacities you may need based on your workload. Well, if you are interested in this topic, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. My name is Ajay Kumar and you are watching me at BI Consulting Pro. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and also do share this video with your friends and your colleagues so that they can also gain some knowledge out of it. Well, I have one more request to make. Please do join this channel. This way you can support us and we can keep creating more and more free contents for you. All the contents on our channel are free of cost. So you don't need to pay anything, but still you can learn and you can grow in your career. How does that sound? Well, if you agree with me, please subscribe please join this channel and become a member of our family. Now let's head over to my laptop where I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Well, as you can see that on 14th of April 2025, Microsoft has published this blog, which is Microsoft Fabric blog. I'll provide you a link in the description section. So please don't forget to check it out. And also do remember that this feature is still in preview. So you cannot take it for granted because there may be some changes are going to be made. And I have one request to Microsoft. Please only preview the features which are almost production ready. There are some of the other organization who releases their features in preview and they are almost ready for production. And after a month or so, they come into the production environment. However, in my experience with Microsoft, that's the biggest challenge. They released a feature and it's been even some of the features more than six months or a year that they are still in preview. And this way we cannot really rely on those features. Guys, if you also feel the same way, you can post your comment in the comment section and also can go to Microsoft Fabric or Power BI community where you can post your ideas as well. Now, over here, what they are saying, they are saying that we are excited to unveil the Microsoft Fabric SQ Estimator now available for preview, an enhanced version of previously introduced Microsoft Fabric Capacity Calculator. In my previous videos, I have already shown you that how we used to calculate or estimate which kind of license do we need. So there was another calculator and now we have the enhanced version of that. So this would help you to estimate whether you are doing the data engineering, data factory, data warehouse, data science, one lake, Power BI, real-time intelligence, or Microsoft Fabric databases kind of workload. And this can really help you out in that sense. Now, what you have to do, you have to simply click on this part, which is the Fabric Capacity Calculator. Over here, please do note that this preview of the Microsoft Fabric Estimator is made available under Microsoft Terms of Use. Estimates generated may not be accurate. And yes, that's the caveat. They may not be accurate. However, you can still use it. For example, I'm going to say that uh, total size of data when compressed is in GB would be my 100 or let's say my data set or semantic model size is 40 GB. Number of daily, daily batches, I'm going to run, let's say, 8. And number of tables across all the sources are 100. That's what I'm going to do. Now, you have to also make sure that you put fabric usage, like what are the fabric usage for you? That means what are the different items you are using, whether you are using data warehouse, data factory, etc. So if I'm going to use data, data warehouse, definitely I'll go with the data factory as well. I'm not going to do any of these ones, but ad hoc SQL analytics would be there. Definitely I'll go with Power BI. And also I'm going to use my data activator over here because I need to generate certain alerts in real time. And let's say I'm going to go with the event stream as well for real analytics or real-time dashboards. Now, SQL database in Fabric, that's also I'm going to use. You can also opt for this option, which is saying data warehouse, edit to estimate, use migrate to Fabric experience. So let's not do that. Now, there's also one point where you have to enter some information, data factory, that how many hours you are going to run it. And I'm going to say four hours. And this one, I'm going to say five. Power BI daily report viewers, I'm going to have 1,000. And then uh, Power BI model size, let's say 100. Over I'm going to say 40 and on the top I'm going to say let's say 200 total size. All right. So this way we can calculate it more realistically. Uh, I'm going to say, OK, 100, 500 if my data is in real time 
and this is I'm just putting some numbers you can also do that but none of them are mandatory so you can click on these i buttons and you can get more information about it what it does say now you can also choose your what kind of SQL database fabric you use this is basically your Azure SQL database and I'm gonna say I need a five core total size let's say 500 GB and then daily eight hours now I can just press calculate but it's also saying that um, number of individuals creating Power BI reports daily because you need a Power BI Pro license for that and I'm going to say 10. Uh, I hope so it can calculate but yes uh, daily ingestion data let's say 5 GB uh, number of event streams I have to put it 10 total number of destinations 10 and let's say this is also 10 I hope so this time it can calculate and I hope it's calculating All right, so I think it has calculated. Over here, we need F512. Wow, that's a lot. And that's gonna cost you a lot. So if you would like to see that how much this pricing is gonna cost you, you can also go over here and you can type Microsoft Fabric Pricing. And here you can do. So here you are gonna get uh, estimation. You can also say by hour or by month, how you would like to do that. I'll say go with the reserve one because that you can say about 41% of saving. But if you're going to go with this one, then you're going to cost approximately $40,000 per month. But for an enterprise, I don't think so. It's a big deal. They do spend a lot of money on that one. But please do check out all these links in the description below. Please tell me what do you think about this video, whether it's going to add some value to your organization or to your day-to-day -day work or not. Also, if you have any other feedback or concern, please do let us know in the comment section. Till then, keep learning and keep exploring the world of data. I'm going to see you in the next video.